It's Good Friday, 8 a.m., the English Channel, heading for Calais. We're on board the brand new P&O superferry, Spirit of Britain. It's immaculate, but that's about to change. It's breakfast time. Food and beverage manager Paulus wants to see how many are going to eat. It won't be long, though. It's a lot of uptake. 500 people, roughly, for breakfast this morning. Scrambled egg. Thank you. Everything is cooked on board, and that means dirty plates, dirty pots and pans, and loads of food waste. Uh, I think in the galley they've got 13 chefs on today, two KPs. KPs are kitchen porters like Shane. Constantly cleaning behind the scenes, Shane's there to soak up the grime. Obviously, we've got you know 2,000 plus passengers coming on. It's going to have a lot of washing up to do. The diners are busy too, generating 500 dirty plates, knives, and forks. Goes in one way and comes out. The other. <laughs> They'll also make hundreds of visits to the 80 toilets and fill the bins with rubbish. On deck, the traditional sight of British men in dresses drinking lager. We're going to Eindhoven. For what reason? To get pissed. <laughs> Paulus wants to make sure things won't get out of hand. <laughs> Just had to tell the chap there not to undress any further. In the cafeteria, breakfast is ending, so everyone switches into clean-up mode. It's like the locusts have been in, isn't it? <laughs> busy, 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 clearing up, washing up. Get ready for the next trip. If you can't stand the heat, don't work in this kitchen. Constantly on the go. Busy day in the office. Every minute's accounted for, so Shane doesn't need any unexpected jobs. See, so someone's dropped, dropped something, not cleared it up. The big cleanup hasn't even started. The waiters, the car deck crew, the shop team, and even the boss are about to change jobs and become cleaners. For 90 minutes, nearly 2,000 passengers have been making a mess. The crew has just 45 minutes to make the spirit of Britain look like new. p and ferry Spirit of Britain is about to reach Calais in France. Nearly 2,000 passengers rush back to their cars, leaving behind their grime. The crew has just 45 minutes to make the ship look like new. Everyone gets stuck in. Let's go and get my Hetty Hoover out now. <laughs> On trip, Janine does perfume sales. But like everyone else, she's a cleaner now. They've got to move fast. Well, this is turnaround cleaning now, all hands on. That includes the boss. I just firefight wherever necessary. The kitchen did 500 breakfasts on the way out. It needs a full clean. Jobs, everybody does, they have a lot of jobs. Many hands make light work, as I say. Alice, oh, so you don't need to go to the gym after this. Down on the car deck, there's even less time for the cleanup. We tend to have maybe 10 minutes, if that. With 180 trucks on board, the freight driver shower block is a top priority. This is a chemical solution. It just gets um, the grime and the body fat off the walls. And then we just hose it off with um, some water. The toilets have their own cleaners. Once, we're, once you get going, you just go on and go on. One of the toilets is blocked. With up to 2,000 toilet visits on each trip, it's bound to happen. And like everything else, it has to be sorted before they sail. Departure is less than half an hour away. Probably overuse of paper. I've found all sorts down over the years. Everything you can think of. Even false teeth, money, underwear and all sorts in there. <laughs> They're hoping for nothing unexpected in the showers. The worst thing I've found in here is a, a bit of a feces that someone had kindly left as a little present for me.
The next 1,000 cars are already driving on board. In the galley, the chefs have to get started on 500 lunches, but the cleanup's not finished. The last thing Paulus needs is trouble with his Henry. The biggest pressure is to keep the schedule. If not, you delay other traffic and passengers start to complain. A supersized bottom on the journey out broke a toilet seat. John has just minutes to fix it. I'll get used to it, to be honest. <laughs> On the car deck with passengers streaming on board, Campbell is multitasking. Plenty of jobs, yeah. Lots of... Well, the ship needs to be cleaned and we have to do it, so... That all flashing nicely, running away nicely. In the galley, Shane works on. He's no idea where he is. I haven't got a clue most of the time where we're going. That's a quick look out the window. You don't really uh, enjoy the sunshine as much when you're... You work and live in a dream as such inside this ship. The last vehicle is parked up. Most of the staff are back to their jobs dealing with the public. Oh, we kept it well as we, I would say, as we always do, but uh, that's our job anyway. The 45 minute super ferry turnaround clean is complete. That's it, off we go. Well, John Collins.